Part 4, Configure Samples Entry Forms. In Part 3, we created these samples and aliquot fields. Now we will place them on the Sample Entries form for entering and viewing samples and aliquots. At Configure Layouts, Sample Entries Forms, we configure the default input screen. Let's fill in that blank entry screen we saw in Part 1 earlier. Using the T text tool, we will give this form a name. We'll adjust the font so it stands out. Drag and drop onto the template the UDFs you want on this screen. There are many graphics tools available for making sharp looking screens. We'll explore these later. Sample fields at the top, aliquot fields down below. Let's edit our aliquot area. This is where aliquots are assigned to freezers. Let's add our aliquot type UDF and other aliquot system fields to this form. This area is reserved for freezer location assignments. The freezer box map goes here. Your aliquot fields will also be displayed here. Let's make protocol stand out. We'll increase the font size. Let's adjust our aliquot area. Each field area defaults to the character limit, but you can adjust it further. You can edit the position of each aliquot field here by drag and drop.
Let's move aliquot type to the front of the list. And now save and close. We've modified the default input form, but you can create additional forms for every group and purpose.